All right, this video is going to show you how to get two Arduino Megas connected via Bluetooth. Now, firstly, to, to, to do this, you need to connect them up and send a, send some AT commands through. So what I've done is I've linked in the cards up above uh, a good video that I found to do that. Now, it's only like a five minute thing. So if you want to quickly jump across to that one and come back, I'll show you what we're doing. All right, assuming you've done that or whatever you've done, I'm just going to show you what it is we're building. Both LEDs are on. Both LEDs are off. Now I could have done anything to, could have done anything here, but that was the easiest thing to do. Um, I'll look at the code just now. So each one has exactly the same code. So the whole idea is these Bluetooth devices connect via your, your UART connection. So before by your TX and RX. So it's basically a virtual serial port or a wireless serial port, you may say. All right, so because of that, I've got the two serial ports started. Okay, I've got pin mode 13 set to output. I've got digital write 13 low, that way the I can ensure it starts low at each time it starts. Serial port print line setup complete. So you can see I've got setup complete up here. Okay, simple. I have three strings up here created for the serial communications components. Okay, so serial communications is here for the first serial. So this is the UART that we connected through. All right, so what it does is it adds each character that comes through into a string and calls itself read string. Then the Q gets created into read string. So a bit down here for Q. So if Q equals one, then it's going to send down the serial port two, one, and it's going to digital write 13 high and then if it's zero it's going to do the same thing but in reverse and make it make it low so zero port this zero port two zero i have the, this exactly the same as zero port one but for zero port two same story again does that di that does that bit and same story again so q1 from this lot if it comes into via the zero, second zero port so this is if it comes via the main port if it comes through the TX2 and RX2, it comes in on this side. Okay, as simple as that. I'll demonstrate one more time and then that'll be it. If this video has been helpful to you, consider subscribing. Every sub subscription helps me uh, get further on in life. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, come back in a couple more weeks and you'll have some more videos.